Tom. Oh, boss. Hello, sir. What will you want me to do? Huh? Make sure we will be crying. Seriously? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready all the time. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna contact you later. Okay. Thank you so much. Be crying. Oh, what should I do? I never handled with a big client before. Mm. I think I have to contact someone that is expert on this way. But... Mm. Oh, Kenika! Okay, I have to contact her now. Good guy. Hi, you Kenika. seem to be in the rush. You just suddenly texted me. Is there anything that I can have? As I text to you. Oh, yes. I see. So you're about to go on a set and you need a tips. No worry on that. I've got you covered since I got years of experience in this and sales in general. Well, if you ask me for a few tips that I would like to give for you to actually close a sales, first of all, I want you to actually ask questions and listen to the customer. I don't want you to go straight up into the sales and uh, talking about the product filters because maybe the product is not what they actually need. Well, I want you to ask them and listen to the situations. And after a few questions and learning about the situation, I want you to actually communicate with the customer to see, is this really the, the situation that they're facing? You can say something along the line, right? Well, um, so uh, this sounds like uh, this is the situations and the problem that you're currently facing and this is what you need, blah, 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 something like that. And after uh, knowing about their situations and the problem and their needs, then come the product recommendations and the product, uh, product selling. Well, after you know about the situations, um, you can recommend the right product for their problems and their needs. You can say something like, um, also in this one, you have to make sure that you go back, like you emphasize something that they said earlier in the conversation. So you can say like, based on what you said earlier, it sound like um, uh, this is your problem, blah, blah, blah. I would like to recommend uh, this product because it fit your needs and your, um, your like your needs and the situation you are in and then blah 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 and during the product recommendations I would love you to actually um, present the product value instead of the product features the thing is product features can be said or can be found anywhere on the internet but not the product value and the thing about the product is, and the sale in general is that the customer values the values of the product, not the product itself sometimes, you know. So I want you to emphasize on the value rather than the product. And well, one of the last thing that you need to know is that you have to make sure who is the, the, the decision maker in the process. If you are selling to a big company, Maybe you can um, figure out the product uh, like decision maker. So that maybe if um, per the person A doesn't respond to you, you can reach out to a the decision maker, something like that. Well, I guess this is it for the tip that I have for you, good guy. I hope that you find it helpful and good luck with yourself. Okay, Kanika, I think your tip is really useful for me. Uh, thank you and talk. Uh, oh yes, talk later. to you later, bye-bye!